post-growth entrepreneurship. You are full of ideas and you want to change the world by starting a business. So you apply to one of the top startup incubators and lucky you, you got admitted. Let's see what they will teach you. Welcome to our incubator. Here you will learn how to run a great company just like Mark Zuckerberg. We're following the Silicon Valley model. There's three parts to it. Capital, scale, exit. You start with a huge cash injection from investors. With this money, you grow exponentially. With luck, you might even become a mystical unicorn worth a billion dollars. Don't waste your time on a profitable business model. Just fatten yourself up for three to five years. Leading to the eventual slaughter, uh, I mean the sale of your company. This is what winning in business looks like. Okay, the financial value is extracted from your company and what's left might be a bit dysfunctional. But if the company fails, it's no longer your problem. You are now part of the 1%. Congratulations. Slowly, you start to realize that something weird is happening here. This startup incubator isn't about innovation or building a great company. It's about building vehicles for moving capital around. Economists have started asking questions about our addiction to growth. How can we create economies that thrive without growth, the post-growth economy? But macroeconomic theory aside, how can we do this in practice? Can we build post-growth companies that reject exponential growth? There are three principles of post-growth entrepreneurship. The first is bootstrapping, avoiding external investment. The second is flat growth, organic growth from customer revenue. And the third is non-extraction, eliminating the unnatural redirection of financial resources out of the company and towards the 1%. We are building a real-life community of post-growth companies that can survive and thrive with these principles. We redirect cash from the commercial market towards social causes, and we are rethinking the startup ecosystem. We are living, breathing, and measurable proof that founders can do things differently. Business can be the most effective form of activism. Business can be a mixed media for art, Business can be a form of spirituality. Business can be a means for creative expression. When we start seeing business as more than just a vehicle for creating shareholder value, we can start to move society forward together. Do you want to get involved? Check out postgrowthentrepreneurship.com.